Hi Virgo, this video is for you if you're in love with or have a crush on someone and would like to know how they feel about you. I'll do two spreads. In the first spread we'll try to see if they feel the same way about you. Then, if the feelings are mutual, in the second spread we'll look at the potential between you and this person. Or, if their heart is with someone else, in the second spread we'll see who is coming towards you in the near future. Please like, subscribe and donate to support this channel. Alright Virgo, let's see what the person you're in love with or have a crush on thinks about you. We have the Emperor, clarified by the Wheel of Fortune and the Six of Cups. We have the Page of Cups, we have Temperance, clarified by the Five of Wands, and we also have uh, the Hangman on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with an Aries or a Sagittarius or pretty much any zodiac sign. As long as this person is your ex, because that's what I see here. This person is your ex, so if you're watching this, you probably still have feelings for this person. And uh, this person is uh, planning a comeback. Right, so the first card I came out is uh, the Emperor. The Emperor is the personal Aries card. You could be dealing with an Aries or the Emperor. It could be your ex-husband, you know, because the Emperor often comes through as a husband or a significant other figure. The Emperor could be also somebody who is large and in charge, perhaps. Uh, they're used to commanding people. There could be like a, a boss at whatever organization, firm they work at. Um, but um, if none of that applies, <laughs> then perhaps this person is stepping up, right? So now they're ready to commit. Now they're ready to get married. Now they've got a job. Now they've got a haircut. Now they've, they've got a, a place to live. So it could be them now stepping up and now embracing the energy of the Emperor. Somebody who is serious, somebody who's finally in control, someone, somebody who finally got their shit together. Right? And <laughs> the Emperor is clarified by the Wheel of Fortune and the Six of Cups. The Wheel of Fortune is a cycle. They want to start with you. Right? A new cycle. A much better cycle. The Wheel of Fortune is always good news in my spreads. And uh, the Six of Cups clarifying that Wheel of Fortune and the Emperor is a card of somebody coming back from the past. It's also a card of a soulmate connection. We got the Page of Cups right there in the middle, so this is an apology coming from this person. And I think there will be more than just an apology attached to that Page of Cups. Even more than the Bouquet of Flowers. Something else. This person is planning on their comeback. They really are. The Will of Fortune clarifying the Emperor is a major arcana card, so yeah, they've got some serious ideas planned out. Right. Then we have Temperance, clarified by the Five of Wands. Temperance is the personal Sagittarius card. You could be dealing with a Sagittarius. Or Temperance is all about healing, bearing the hatchet, getting back together, reconciling. And what they want to heal is that Five of Wands. Right? The Five of Wands is a card of a conflict. It's a card of a fight. It's a card of a breakup. So perhaps the two of you used to fight over this person just being a couch potato or not doing much. Right, but that was just one of the things you could have been fighting over. Right, so like I said, now they're serious. I don't know if you're gonna care because uh, we got the hangman on the bottom of the deck all the way to your right. So yeah, you're gonna put this person on hold. Uh, I don't really see you being really enthusiastic about this person, to be honest with you. That's why we got the hangman. So they'll just have to try harder, and I think they will. I think they will. I don't see any rejection cards either, Virgo. Right, so let's take a look at the um, potential spread between you and this person if you were to let this person back into your life. Virgo, here's the potential spread between you and uh, the person we just saw revealed in the previous spread. Uh, we have the Emperor, clarified by the Ace of Swords and the Wheel of Fortune. We have the Two of Swords, we have the Hermit, and we also have Justice on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with an Aries or a Libra. So the, the Emperor is back. So for some of you, it could be an Aries, or this is somebody who is stepping up, and I think that's exactly what they'll have to do. They'll have to step up. And the phrase I keep hearing in my head is, uh, if you want you back, they'll have to work for it. They'll have to work really hard for it. That page of cups we saw in the first spread ain't going to cut it. <laughs> they have to like do quite a few things um, for you to take them back. And I think they will. I think they will. Right? So yeah, the king of, uh, I mean, the, the emperor is clarified by the ace of swords and the will of fortune. The ace of swords is all about being very decisive, you know, and that's what they'll have to do. Not only be very decisive, but also put work into it. Um, the ace of swords is a, a very straightforward, very direct conversation that the two of you will most likely have. And uh, you will be very honest with them. You'll tell them what your 
surrender conditions are. <laughs> I'm kidding. But you'll tell them what you want. You'll tell them uh, that the only way to uh, the, for the two of you to get back together is for them to do this, to do that, and all of that has to do with them being mature, stepping up, you know, being uh, an adult. And I think they're ready. Perhaps, like I said, they've already done quite a few things to step up, to show you, but uh, you'll you'll have a longer list. You'll have more things on the list for them to do. And I think they're prepared for it, right? The Ace of Swords with the Wheel of Fortune, those are very decisive, serious energies. The Wheel of Fortune is the start of a new cycle between the two of you. The Two of Swords in the middle is a card of a crossroads, right? So yeah, it's either that, it's either my way or the highway, Virgo. That's what you're going to tell them. And there is absolutely nothing wrong with that. Because I think you're coming from this um, energy of don't waste my time if uh, you're not serious, you know, and um, I, you you got my vote, <laughs> Virgo, <laughs> all right? Um, the, the Hermit on, uh, right next to the deck, that's your card, Virgo, that's you. It's always a good sign to have your own card in your own reading, right? You're the one in charge here, that's exactly what we see here. And then we also have Justice on the bottom of the deck. Justice is the personal Libra card, or Justice, I think, is all about doing what's right for you. And Justice is a very serious card. Justice sometimes represents marriage. So if uh, you're, not, you're not taking anything less than them being really serious, that's what I think is happening here. Otherwise, don't waste, don't waste my time. That's what you'll tell them. Yeah, that's good. That's good, Virgo. You're, yeah, you're Defending your positions, you're not caving in. That's good. Really happy for you, Virgo. Congratulations. And uh, yeah, if they can align with uh, your vision, then the two of you can definitely move forward with the Justice card. Yeah, the potential is is still there. You can still make it work. But it, in most, primarily, it all depends on how this person behaves themselves and what they do. Alright, so yeah, that's what I got for you, Virgo, for this reading. If this video resonates with you, please like it. Please also share and subscribe. And uh, other than that, Virgo, have an amazing January. And there you have it. I hope my readings resonated with you, and if they did, I hope they make your lives better in one way or the other. Please share and subscribe and hit the bell to get notified. Thank you for watching.